Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the latest and the hottest iPhone 8 leaks. Previously, we saw these confirmed renders from Forbes.com who got their information from Nodus, a case maker for iPhone 8. They said that fingerprint scanner is likely to be in the power button mainly because of the large size of it. Some reports even said that Apple has managed to successfully place an in-display fingerprint ID, but at this point, it's difficult to make them in the millions, so a new report came out to Today, straight from Apple's Asian supply chain to a well-known leaks player Mako Takara saying that Touch ID on the power button is not happening. The design won't be compatible with the Touch ID sensor on the side. We already know that Touch ID won't be happening on the back which means only two things. They might put the Touch ID in the display and chances of this option is very less or they will kill it. Kill it like they killed the jack and completely rely on a new and most advanced Face ID aka 3D facial scanner. Leaked images of manufacturing blanks of the iPhone 8 suggest that there will be a total of three iris sensors next to the earpiece at the top front of the phone, two to the left of the earpiece and one to the right. Along with a 3D sensing camera, the source also says that Apple will surprise us with this new concept of identification. Basically, the Face ID is the combination of facial recognition and iris reading in a single integrated feature. One sensor reportedly can scan in three dimensions for facial detection while other is an advanced sensor for iris scanning. Previous reports have suggested that this Face ID feature will be so good that it will be able to unlock the phone even when lying straight on the table. It has to be good, really, really, really good for Apple. Apple, of all people, to completely depend its security on this. There are no leaks saying that Touch ID will be removed. It's the KGI's prediction, which usually ends up being right. So Face ID might be the next revolutionary thing on iPhone 8 along with its AR features. If Face ID goes successful, I'm sure they will put this in their MacBooks and other Apple products as well in the future. Apple will also be updated its race to wake feature to work with this new technology. Also, the release of iPhone 8 is not looking so good. A new report says that iPhone 8 will get announced on September 6th along with 7S and 7S Plus, but will not be released till October or November. And even then, it'll come in limited quantities in the first months after the release. Now, similar to Samsung, Apple won't be making the white iPhone 8 or white front iPhone 8, which is good. I don't know why some people are sad about it, the black front actually gives the bezel-less display more of an infinite look. Which is why all the Galaxy S8 models, whether it's gold, pink, or blue, they are all black on the front. So same thing will happen with the iPhone 8. Apple is rumored to launch a mirror-like finish with the iPhone 8 to give it a different high-end look compared to other jobbers like 7S and 7S Plus to attract more kidneys because with each report, the price seems to go up and up. It's been said that stock Starting price could be $1,200 all the way to $1,400 for full maxed out version aka give me all your money edition. Personally, I don't care how long they take for the release of iPhone 8 if it's coming that late in limited supply and with that crazy price, it better have a touch ID in display and have a free girlfriend in it. If that's not gonna happen, then Apple should at least release it on time along with other iPhones. But let me know your thoughts on this. Is anyone, anyone out there who is interested in going with 7S or 7S Plus instead of delayed iPhone 8? Let me know and why not subscribe our future videos for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.